We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 34 It Only Takes One Part 3 of 3 Written by Casey Whelan December 18th, almost 24 hours after detonation and the refugees from Boulder started trickling in. Most of those who came in first were people who found their own way here, through the back routes and roads out of the city. Sir, we got more coming in, small group of 10. I got logistics opening up more base housing outside the secure zones. We won't have enough space for these people. How long till the main body gets here? Not long, sir. They made it through Lake Havasu not too long ago. And sir, I just received a complete list of names of who's with them. Hey, can I see that? How many? 1,200. That's it? Hey, the base can handle that many. Are the checkpoints set up? Mitchum. I don't want one person to set foot on this post without being examined. We don't have enough medical staff for these people. You're part of them, right? Normally, yeah, but... Then get to one of those checkpoints and give them a hand. Hey, sir, you think it's about time we let that Tanya woman out? I mean, she ain't changing and she's medical. Mazda. Don't waste any person out watching her and she might know more about what to look out for. Hey, you. Who? Me, sir? Yeah, you. Go ahead and escort Tanya out of her quarters and to one of the checkpoints with you. Hey. You hear that, Michael? Hey, your friend. You got, you know... Yeah. None of them are here. They're not on the list. Not one. There's still more coming in. And that may not be entirely accurate. Sergeant Cross, go home and get some sleep. You've been here all night. We have this handled. Hey, I got a cat nap a few hours ago. I'll keep an eye out. All right, Sarge? Just write their names down. They just had to fucking go there. They chose to, all right? Take your radio. I'll call you if anything changes. Just get a message to him. And... Michael? She wouldn't let me in. What's happening? People are starting to arrive. Uh, any word on Kelly and... and Bex and all? They're not on the list. List? What list? Where are they? I don't know. But there'll be a lot more people here soon. I'm sure they need you at the DFAC. But what about our people? I don't know, okay? I'd tell you if I knew. I don't even know where they were in the city. Maybe then I'd know better if they made it out. You know, there's still a lot of people coming here on their own. Maybe they'll be among those. Yeah, of course they will. Yeah. They will. They know what they're doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing! You just let me look! I could read the map, and you could drive. If you can! I don't want to risk damaging your eyes. Now stop it! We could almost be there. But I thought we'd run into everyone else by now. Oh. The sign says Newberry, 15 miles. No, where is that on here? What's that? It keeps doing that. Well, there's not so much fuel. What do you mean, not so much? Hopefully, more than I think. I was trying to make it to the next town. And maybe we can refill the cans there, um, in the back, too. Hey! Hey! A military car thing. That must mean we're close. Should we stop? 
Maybe. Were there soldiers there? Didn't see any. Uh oh. It's okay. We can just siphon from another car, right? But there's no other cars. None? But what about the ones we passed? That was a while ago. Why'd you go so far if we didn't have that much left? I thought we had enough. You act like I drive all the time. I don't, and I know that. You're supposed to be the mechanic. Don't get started on me. Just hold onto the rope. This again? Ugh. It was one of the Hummers, like we saw at the base. This one had been parked in a ditch and all the doors were open. No one was in sight. What is it? The military vehicle. And it's been here for a while. Uh, hello? Can we use its fuel? Mm, no, it's diesel. Just let go of the rope for a second. Let me look. No one's inside. But there's some bullets here. That's it. It's, it's empty. Does it still...? Dead. There's a radio here. But it's dead too. Battery's drained. So we have to walk? Maybe not. Here's Newberry. Oh. We're not too far from Irwin. If I can call them, maybe they can come get us. If I could just get this radio working. Uh, go get me the battery out of the back of our car. Sure. Let me just oh, go crap. get those. 24 volts. Okay. I'll need to get one from the engine, too. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. What's happening? I, I don't know. But it's coming from that way. S someone's shooting. Not close, right? I can't see anything. But yeah. Then leave it, okay? We'll go the other way. We'll find another car. I hadn't seen one for miles. But if the radio works, we can get help. Then take it with us. It's bolted in. J just give me a few minutes. I can do this. I got your message. What happened? Firefight broke out in the main body's convoy, someplace along the 40. No one's talking to us. That's the group with the 1200, right? Yeah, but, but it was more now. Others found them. What? How far off are they? Should we send a response team? They got turners. They got turners in the group. Damn it. I told them to check everyone. We need to help. I fucking told you we should have detonated it before they could escape. We lost comms. That's the last time I'm listening to you. So it's my fault they didn't check well enough? I tried to save lives. So did I. Look, this isn't getting us anywhere. We still have one air response unit. I'll relay what I see in the air. I'm not done with you. Well, I am. Cross. Cross! Below us. Follow that. On it. How bad is it? That's what we're gonna find out. What do we have for munitions? Loaded with hydras, and the Gatlin's got several belts. I got the M4 as well. 
You ain't gonna hit shit with that from the air. Hey, what if we're not in the air the whole time? Yeah, it's not gonna come to that. All right, we're coming up on it. Below, a tangled mass of cars and other military vehicles were being overrun by wave after wave of attackers. There were a few soldiers fighting back as other cars were scattering in all directions. Holy shit! Those are the crazy kind from Boulder! How the fuck did they get here? Hey, be careful of anyone not turn! We got the room. We can pick up stragglers, right? Kimmit's on the line. You talk to him. Sir, the convoys are full of turners. Let's stop them. We're gonna hit the center mass with the hydras, swinging around. No, there could still be people. Wait! No! You're just scattering them further. Let me, let me talk to him. Colonel, they're just spreading out further now. I'm done listening to you. But he's right. It's not effective. There's a few pockets of hostiles up here. Take them out. Damn it, listen to me! That's not effective. You're gonna hit people. He's right. You're just making it worse. We got hundreds of those things going in all directions now. Hey, we got several vehicles up ahead heading to Irwin. Consider them hostile. Engage and... You can't kill all of them. We can't have them leading the rest here. That's where everyone's heading. You can't stop that now. Where else can they go? Confirm the order. Sir? Don't do it. What's the point of killing them if we're all dead? Return back to base. Reinforce the defensive positions around the post. Thank God. What about the others? There's more that aren't changed. Can we land? They'll overtake the chopper. We've seen it happen before. We can't take off as fast as they can get on board. So there's nothing we can do? Not really. Hey, Michael, you there? What? We're picking up someone on the Singars. Says they know you. They're on your list. What? Robbins, you have one on board? Yeah, hold on. I got it. Oh, yeah. We're stuck out here. Uh, our car broke down. We're not far. We just... Datu, where are you? Michael, we were... Just, just, uh, just tell me where. Who's with you? On the 40. Right outside of Newberry. And it's home and I. Where's everyone else? Pegs and Kelly. I don't know. We can't find anyone. We just hear gunshots in the distance. He's between them and Irwin. Those things are gonna run right into him. If it's just two, we can pick him up, right? It's on the way back. Might be close, but we'll try. Maldoon, you got it? Pick him up. Yeah, I'm on it. One turn. That's all it took. Datu, Pegs and Kelly. Did they get out? I don't know! A lot of chatter on the other lines. Everyone in Irwin's getting into position. They can stop them, right? You have the thanks and shit? Yes. This time, we do. Where's the colonel? Right there, shit in his pants about now. He ain't never led this kind of thing before. 
Move the Bradleys into the canyons. Draw any attackers into those kill zones. How long we got? I don't know. How fast can they cover 60 miles? We should have cars showing up here soon. He set up a checkpoint to let the people in if they make it. We got a few more stragglers from Boulder since you left, and they're getting outfitted now. Well, are any of them... No. Just that guy I told you about. You grab him? Yeah. He's getting checked out now. Cross. We still have one of those Cody things working. Yes, sir. Load it into the Black Hawk. Maybe we can take out a bunch before they get here. It's too big for the Black Hawk. Do we have anything that could... Well, yeah, the Pelican, but that thing hasn't worked since... Oh, wait. He's here now. He can fix it. Can you get it done? I'll get him on it. Shots fired outside checkpoint one. Checkpoint two has incoming. This is it. Engage at will. Would someone get that? Who's left that's got a sat phone? I have no idea. Hello. Hello, this is Fort Irwin Command. What's the number? Who is it? Check the readout. Wait. That's not right. Who is it? It's the team we sent to L.A. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Nate Gies, Brett Newton, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Scott Marvin, Jenna McCombie, Otto Sturk, Constance Parm, Tammy Klein, Alan Azule, Christian Vieira, Blair Byhauer, Shirley Jordan, Jane Lehach, Tony Ray, and Amber Kellogg. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone and K.C. Whelan. Line producer, Simon Nepper. Zombie intern, Eric Wargo. Music intro by Brother Dan. Series artist, Ben Hosack. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. <laughs>